Why my bad bitch? I'm free and a motherfucker. Hawk me looking okay. Yeah. She can't fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? He said he ain't fucking around. I look at him like okay. Yeah. Hey, look at me. I'm just like 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 yeah. Hey, look at me. I went to pick a daily i went to so many shops let me show you guys what i got i have a nail business by the way support it i'm gonna put it right here especially if you're in grahamstown it's like a beauty business you know me and being a beauty girl anyways i got these tips i got brushes for the fringes um buffers so a lot of the stuff is purple you guys are gonna notice that it's purple because my logo is purple it's purple i got red wipes i got some alcohol prep pads for the nails um <clears throat> i got a matte matte top coat i got a nail prep dehydrator i got two top coats and then i got filers two filers as well and then i got um five nude colors and then last week i bought like a big tub of acrylic which was 65 rand it was really affordable very cheap and then i'm going to show you guys the pieces that i got at pick a daily because yeah they're upstairs we're gonna go to my room now when i say guys i ran to dragon city because i got all of this for under 300 rand if i went to china more i would have spent like close to 500 or 700 because last time i bought very little things for very expensive prices so yeah yeah that's the chat so now i'm gonna take you guys upstairs and i'm gonna show you the pieces that i got from picker daily because yeah you know Mm. <laughs> I'm so what can i even explain about the store the store is like it's like a discount store for like everything because there's pretty little thing there's boohoo there's there's just a lot of things but anyways i picked up two zip up hoodies for like 300 dollars is the first one i don't even know what brand this is it's too f take life further <laughs> <laughs> no but it has a stoof it's it's a stlf but that was proof i got this in a small it's a cropped hoodie ouch someone tap me it's a cropped hoodie washa on my campus O O T T. On my campus O O T T. He going something. Get rid of me. Get rid of me. Get rid of me. <laughs> you see the vision. I know you do. But yeah, this is the quality. It's very nice and warm inside. It's very very thick. Like very thick. It's almost like factory quality and i got this for 150. yeah you heard that right 150 rands yep and then i got this in it's a small but it's like an oversized small it's a gray zip-up hoodie i got this for 220 um Naira J. Campus O O T. 
campus oo today hey guys let's go to the library ngale ngale ni ta trap ka fo da ga tinzo fail ya fo mama results so so cool i guess is i'm not feel i'm worried this is the food is my cover pants are not so guys but like you get the vision you get the you get the mindset you see um this is how it fits i love it because you see the one that i was wearing now before i took it off it's from pick and play clothing there eh? it's not bad it's really nice it's just not as baggy as this one i, I really love the baggy effect also it's got green detailing here california sweet dreams like a california remember rihanna's song anyways Good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm not even gonna do a lot. I wanna shoot content, but see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> it's Sunday, the 30th of June. We're going for like a breakaway lunch with my family because it's our last Sunday together before I go back to school and my niece goes back to school. Oh, getting emotional. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go get ready, get go bath, and then I'm gonna shoot to get ready with me for TikTok. And yeah, right now I'm just cleaning my room because everyone was getting ready in my room. I was prepping everyone, the kids, I mean. So now they just went downstairs. So I was just like cleaning my room, making sure everything is right, and then I'm gonna take a bath and we're gonna leave. I forgot to show you guys the stuff that I bought yesterday, so I'm gonna show you guys later in today's video um i bought clothes guys i went to small street i went to china mall and i couldn't even vlog because you know i'm not trying to get my phone snatched at these places so the best thing is to behave and act like i'm broke and i have nothing to do with my life so i went to small street with my cousin those are some of the clips that you saw yesterday i also went to china mall with my mom to buy some stuff for my school my room at school and then also some stuff some clothes like a few stuff and yeah um yeah that's just about it i'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna get up to today it's our first like dinner out lunch out as a family on a sunday because we never do that we've never done that before but my brother was just like let's try something new you guys are going and where i live personally i work at my restaurant and we get guys so we're going to the new market lifestyle center which I've always loved the new markets, but now it's been developed and everything. And I told them that I wanted to see it, so that's how they're taking me. Oh, the other day I did my nails. I did show you guys the clip. I think these are the nails I did. Black French tip. My mom says they're ugly because it's a black French tip. And I told her you're just a hater, girl. Cause you don't got pretty nails, and now I'm gonna start charging her when I do my nails. Cause why she think my nails are ugly? But yeah, see you guys later. Let me go pause. Hi guys, so I you know that real bunch of Cause I'm about to I don't even get to put on mascara. I'm so scared that this cat is gonna run away. I'm gonna go to the bank. 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 I'm gonna I'ma send the Uber to your place. It's my secret safe. Safe with just you and me. We can't leave a trace. This is my favorite mistake. Oh, look in my eyes. Can you find the lies? Do you feel alive? Look in my eyes. Y'all, we are at Newmarket again. We're here to do groceries 
and um you were at the new stores so i think we're gonna check that out as well i'm um, with my mommy and yeah editing this vlog and i'm realizing how messy it was and how unintentional it was however it's such a beautiful vlog and i believe i've captured my best moments with my loved ones in the best way possible and still was able to show my life through the lens with you guys um one thing I didn't notice though is that i didn't speak much i really am trying to vlog so it's back to reality it's back to real life i'm back at school and that's why the end of the vlog is literally just a clip of the sunset and a reflection of how much i've learned from the first semester um i've learned to love living 983 kilometers away from home is literally the most hardest thing i would have never thought i would have done it and i remember in one of my earliest vlogs this year i spoke about how i didn't want to move away from home but because of the way um life had turned out i think i'm starting to appreciate how life away from home really feels like i feel like i would have never gotten the chance to be independent and live the life that i'm living right now um another thing that i did want to say is that you guys make me so emotional every day i really be fighting tears you guys always watch my vlogs you guys are still subscribing even though it's been like five months since i've lost dropped five or like four or three months i'm sorry um <laughs> um yeah um another thing that i did want to say is that i'm going to try to be consistent the sad thing about this side is that even if i try to vlog a lot of things don't come together because i feel like as as much as i've been here i think i've shot like six videos but they're incomplete vlogs there are and i don't want to post for the sake of posting that's something i never want to do and inconvenience the quality of my vlogs and the yeah it's always just quality over quantity and for me i think that's the most important thing but i really am going to try this semester i've seen how life works and hey school has killed me it's, it didn't kill me, it killed. Fuck.
that's what school did to me but anyways uh, i just came on here to say thank you guys so much for liking sharing subscribing and telling your family about my i really love and appreciate the efforts that you guys put into interacting with my content and for that i'll forever be grateful for the family that i have on youtube it's just love and light man i love you guys so much i love you i love you i think i made my camera dirty when i punched it but good night Mm-hmm.